Alright guys, welcome to another beer review. Um, I was downstairs in my little, because I've got a little box with beers in, and um, I'd completely forgotten that I had this, so God knows how long I've had this one. Um, yeah, I was sorting out beers for uh, my live Beaver Town review with Dean, which will have probably, well it will because I'll be recording it tomorrow, so it will be already uploaded. But it was just making sure that the, you know, getting information about the cans and stuff. And uh, yeah, found this in there, which is the Daz Heller from Tillmans, which is a small microbrewery here in Germany. And uh, on Beer Advocate, this is voted as the best German Heller's Lager brewed in Germany. When you look at Heller's Lagers on Great Beer, Beer Advocate, and um, Untapped, they get such a bad rap. I don't know why. I don't know how. Especially rate beer. You look at like the top 50 Heller's beers. And most of them are brewed outside of Germany. Mainly in America and North America. How the hell is that even possible? But um, yeah. I've always got time for this style. It doesn't matter if it's mainstream. It doesn't matter if it's craft. I like a good lager. And the only other beer that I've had from Tillman's is the Dunklers, which I reviewed last year, but it was one of those ones, well it was a couple of years ago now, where I deleted the review to re-upload on the channel, but I thought I can pick it up again, because I enjoyed it and I'll do another review. But um, yeah, so Daz Heller, which is clocking in at 5.1%, best before it's the 29th of the 6th, 2017, and uh, yeah, I picked this up from Beretta. Well, of course I did. It's the only craft beer shop that I've got here. And, um, yeah. Braumeister is Tillman Ludwig. And the artwork is from a guy called James Milner. So I could, if I can find his information or any social media links, I'll put him down below. Because I do like to include the people who design the labels. Because that's all part of the experience. And, yeah, beautiful, beautiful artwork. I think each individual style of beer that um, Tillman or Till Herr Ludwig brews. He has a different artist. I think his Dunkler's beer is designed by a Japanese artist. And if you see me look into the side it's because I'm dealing with some food. And uh, yeah we're having chicken in a cream sauce with broccoli and tatties so I'm sure a lager is gonna go pretty damn well with that so uh, yeah looks the part lovely label on the back and that is the Tillman's crown so it's great to see that it's not just uh, it, it's a craft beer that is on the top of the beer advocate German Heller's list and it's great to see the craft breweries doing these styles of beers, which I think all of them do anyway, but um, yeah, I, I just don't, without going into a rant, I don't understand why people are so against the style, I mean, yeah, you get all that crappy macro stuff in the UK, like Carl in Carlsberg, and then you've got the American equivalents, and you've got all the other territories equivalents of really badly produced, chemical ridden lagers, but when you do the style right, nothing can compare to it so hopefully this one has done it absolutely right so let's get the beer poured and get off my moral high horse for a second very very passive aggressive when it comes to my ranting but beer in a glass and uh, yeah that's a lovely deep orange color almost got well it has got amber hues in there as well got a slight copperiness to it Lovely clarity as well, and you can see those nice gentle bubbles going all the way to the top. Going up to that, about one finger's worth of an ever so slightly off-white foamy looking head. Looks like a damn good lager so far. Let's see what it smells like. I'm instantly hit with like a citra hop character. And I get a little bit of a, a melon aroma. But then underneath that, you get what you'd usually get with a Hellas beer. You get that nice strawy malt character. It's got a very subtle savoury tone in there as well. Lovely citrusy kick. 
I've said it time and time again, I hate it when craft breweries do a lager and then they just completely bastardise the style of hops. If you're going to make a rarely overly hoppy lager that doesn't taste like a lager, label it as something else. You know, I've had some really great craft interpretations of a lager where they've hopped it but they've not got too overboard. And on the aroma, you do get that citrusy, slightly tropical, almost resiny aroma, but it's not too powerful, it's not overwhelming, and you can smell that it's a Hellas beer, which, you know, it's a thumbs up from me so far. Let's see if it trans well, translates well to the taste. Cheers. And it has. You get that hint of hops, well that hint, I mean a hit of hops, straight away. Definitely getting like a Cascade Citra sort of flavour in there. And then you get like that hop oil flavour coming in as well, a lot more powerful than some other beers of this style. But underneath that fruitiness, underneath that slight like, tropical flavour, and underneath that almost ranchery fruit pastel, like Haribo jelly sweet sort of flavour, you get that lovely malt base. It's crisp, it's clean, it's got these slight like, grassy tones, it's a little bit herbaceous. The citrus character comes in really nicely. And you do get a, a stronger, almost pale ale, slight like um, bitterness on the back end, which is nice. It leaves you wanting to go in for another swig. And, uh, yeah, I could definitely see why this is a very highly regarded Hellas beer. But, for me, my favourite German Hellas lager is the Augustina Lager Beer Hell. I think that beer is absolutely phenomenal. And the fact that I could get a bottle of that for less than a euro, you know, I'm in heaven. You know, you could give me all the craftiest beers, you could give me an attack of hops. Seven times out of ten, I'm going to go for the Augustina Hellas because it's such a solid, quaffable beer. And this... It's a lovely blend of hops and traditional brewing techniques. And I really, really like it. I'm so glad that this isn't completely overridden with that hop character where it just completely is unrecognisable as a Hellas beer. It maintains that style, but just adds a little bit more of a punch, a little bit more character. And I think it is very deserving of its high praise. Is it the best craft lager that I've tried? No, but it's definitely up there. And in terms of a rating, I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. I think that's lovely. That is a really solid beer. And if you ever get the chance to try it, definitely do so. I think um, he was at London Craft Beer Week last year, um, if I've got the right brewery. So you might be able to get hold of some of his beers. And if you do, give them a try, because that's two beers that I've tried from him that I've really, really enjoyed. So, <coughs> excuse me. Dallas Heller from Tillman's, 9 out of 10, give it a try. If any of my, or for anyone else to read this on YouTube, link's down below. Check out Tillman's, check out Beretta, check out my log playlist, and most importantly, I hope you'll join me for the next one. See you guys later. Cheers.